hello guys welcome to sap video tutorials in this video tutorial we'll go through few basics and we'll do a simply supported beam so as you see I have already opened the sap 2000 over here and you go to file you create a new model so there are these options with which you can save the file import and export import it to Revit or something like that export it from another software We'll look into we'll look into that in the later video tutorials, and then you have print setup. So first we'll go to new model. As soon as you select new model, a window opens up. Over here you select your units required, whichever units you need to work on kilonewton meter, and uh, Celsius. Similarly, keep inches. I'll say keep inches. I'll say keep far, uh, feet actually. So uh, there are two ways to do the beam. First, I will go with grid only mode. So I'll select the template grid only, and over here I'll give the grid lines in x direction. I just need uh, two of them, and in y direction I need one and in z direction I need one so it, it will be basically a simple simply supported beam between two points for example x1 and x2 since we gave it in feet I'll say uh, spacing as 10 feet and this will be one feet this will be one feet I'll and first grid line location is nothing but the center point so it will be the origin 0 0 0 select ok so as you see I see a grid line 1 which is in x direction so in order to draw a frame member like in order to do a simply supported beam first I'll need to draw a member sap is very simple you just have to define first the materials and properties load cases everything then you need to draw the member and then you need to assign and finally you will do analysis and then you can display your deflection moment diagram and shear so first you will just have to draw beam member so for that we will just go over here and we will say draw frame or cable or you can even go to draw and you can say draw frame or cable so I'll select two points from here to this end point and then I'll give right mouse I'll click right mouse button once that is done I'll go to define I'll define first the material so I already have a steel material in here A992 grade 50 uh, I'll keep it like that for now or I can add a new material and I can say ASTM A36 it will be grade 36 select ok once I'm done with uh, material property I'll go to section properties I'll define my frame section nothing but my beam member and um, I'll say add new property let me say it as concrete actually it's steel sorry since we selected the steel material property so what I will do is I'll say add new property I'll come over here actually inst like I can add new property I can just change the dimensions over here but instead of that what I'll do is I'll import new property I'll import it from AIC 14 I'll see to it that I give a member let's say W 14 by 68 I'll select ok 
the properties are already highlighted section properties you can see in here cross-sectional area moment of inertia shear section modulus plastic modulus radius of gyration and then you select ok once you are done with defining section properties you can go to load patterns in here you can create load patterns so you already have a dead load pattern I'll add a new new load pattern which is nothing but live load over here I'll select live I'll see to it that my self weight multiplier is zero and add new load pattern because live load keeps changing that is why we put it as zero and I'll say select OK so then I'll go to load cases these are the cases that run when we do the analysis so dead load dead and dead load case model load case and live load case you can even add a new load case wherein you can make sure that the load pattern dead load scale factor add and then use add whatever you want But for now will will be this three will be sufficient then we'll go to load combinations you can add a new combination like one dead load plus one live load 1.2 dead load plus 1.6 live load or you can add default design combos you can say steel frame design and already they are added which is very easier for us once you are done defining everything we move on to draw and as you know that we have already drawn frame we'll go to assign so in order to assign you need to select the member select assign you select first frame sections so our frame section will be w14 by 68 we'll say select ok so w14 by 68 is assigned so you come to 3d view window over here and you say select set display options this one exactly and make sure you select extrude view box checked in select ok so that you can just You can see the member in 3D view. Now, next will be supports. We'll select the end point and then we'll go to assign joint. We'll say restraints and we'll say pinned support so you can see the pinned support over here then you go select the other joint assign joint restraints you select roller support and select ok so you can see the roller support on this side once you are done with that you will go select the member you will go to assign and assign frame loads let's say distributed and 0 0.025 keep per feet as dead load in gravity direction which is downward direction and this is basically when you are applying the loads like you just want the load to be applied from distance of 0 to let's say 0 0.25 in 10 feet nothing but 2.5 feet so in that case you will apply this you will use this we will also do that probably in the next video or the video after that 
and we'll select OK over here. Now So I'll select that, select OK. Dead load, span loading. Alright, never mind. So I'll select the member again. I'll select uh, I'll select a sign over here and I'll go to frame loads. I'll select distributed. I'll s then I'll select the load pattern name live load and I'll give the live load as 40 kips per feet. I'll select OK. Now once I'm done with that there they are my loads because of the extruded view we weren't able to see the loads so I rem I removed the extruded view in order to see the loads so now what I can do is once since I'm done with assigning everything I can go to analysis I'll say run analysis and this will be the three load cases that will be run I'll say run now. I'll save my file as project one. I'll say save and the analysis is running. So this is the deformed shape once the load is applied. We can go over here and say show deformed shape. We can select our load combination, and depending on that, it shows us. Then you can even you can select whatever window you want the results in. You can go to show forces or stresses in here. Even you can find those in here frames I'll say 3 as my load combination I'll say shear I'll say show values on the draw diagram I'll select OK so you can see the values 0 0.47 and 0 0.47 at joints you will get the reactions
I'll remove that option. I'll say moment and that way I can see the moment for some reason okay moment 3 3 I'll say show values on the diagram yep see there's my moment So this way you can do a simply supported beam in SAP 2000. In the next video we'll be going through a continuous beam and different types of loadings. Thank you for watching the video.